hello i welcome you to this video in this video i want to show you how to create staircase in revit at the end of this video you should be able to learn how to create a staircase like this this is an l-shaped staircase if you check it on the floor plan this is how it is at the end of this video you will learn how to create a staircase like this and without wasting your time, let's get started. Remove this and make it uh, in form of L shape. And I'm going to model it. Okay. Now let me offset this one. Uh, my shortcut for set is O. And uh, I will offset this one to be 300 mm. Okay, then I am going to select this and create similar. By the way, my shortcut for create similar is CS. So I'm going to draw this and I'll, I will create more of this. And uh, I will make sure that the distance here is. 300 which is okay now i am going to array this select and select array and let me type 10 and i'm going to off this uh, group and associate and i will leave move to to second and that is all i need to do then take it to a small distance and type 300 mm press enter okay here is the array if i like i can extend this one to meet this wall i can extend all of them to meet it then i need to trim this to this okay now this is an L shape and um, in this L, L shape uh, staircase I will want to climb from here I, I want to start climbing from here and uh, trim this let me remove this and this okay and um, just for the purpose of this tutorial i'm going to be removing this that is not our design anyway i'm just doing this this training just to answer one of the questions that one of my students asked and that is why i am doing this and because of that i want the staircase to to complete 23 which we need so i'm going to copy this and add it to this so that it will complete 23 we had 18 before now this will be 19 20 21 22 23 okay we have 23 now and i will extend this okay let me create more line of okay now i am going to highlight all this one and make them overhead make them overhead then this one will now be solid line this one will be solid okay because we are st we are starting our climbing from here then we we'll go like that and uh, let me okay let me ascertain the width the width is supposed to be 1200 mm which is okay okay now what i'm going to do now is i'm going to select staircase i want to model it now so i'll go to architecture tab and select stair 
then step by sketch and I'm going to pick the I'm going to pick this staircase and I'll start my drawing from here and make sure you are run at the top right side at the top right side corner like this make sure you are run and you can start from the middle Oosh. and uh, make sure the level you have selected should be ground floor plan okay and the top level should be first floor and the width should be 1200 and the thread height is this which is okay and all other things are now okay then hit apply then make sure you are run and start drawing you are going to stop at this first riser last riser on this uh, run and if you look carefully you see that 11 risers have been created and it's remaining 14 okay so what i'll do now is i'm going to start from here i'm going to start from here now and create it don't bother whether it, it has exceeded for now let it exceed the number and create it and finish it okay so that is that we now have our l shape staircase okay what if i want this place to be spiral now the one we have now is assumed to be like this is assumed that it doesn't have a spiral but what if i wanted to have a spiral if i wanted to have spiral at this uh, so what i'll do now is to edit it i'm going to select that staircase and edit it make sure what you have selected is the staircase and hit edit hit edit then i'm going to create more riser i'll pick riser and draw i can start drawing from here make sure it's from the boundary line to the second boundary line if it does not touch the band the boundary line it will not work so make sure it touches the two boundary lines okay all right then now you can see that i've created two risers so i'm going to delete more i'm, I'm going to delete um, three risers so what i will do is i will simply select this uh, this one and drag it to here is showing me that it's remaining one let me leave it like that and finish it okay there's a, a complaint here actual number of risers is different from desired number of risers add more or remove risers change desired number of risers in step properties okay let's leave that one for now now the staircase has been created let's check it let's check the cross the section through the staircase and see what we have created let me look at it in section okay so you can see our staircase you can see that it doesn't touch the slab it doesn't touch the slab and if you count it now is 23 and it does not touch the slab that means something is wrong that means our 
riser height is not what it's supposed to be you count it now you see that it's 23 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 the 24th is a slab okay so what we are going to do is we are going to adjust the riser height so i'm going to delete this one for now and create another staircase i want to get it right and this is the one we are using i want to rename it to team stair if you want this stair is a stair that i've been using and um, i like it because all other properties are easy for me to manipulate uh, if you want a copy of it just let me know i will send a copy to you in a in a project i was i will get a copy across to you in a particular project and send it across to you just let me know if you want if you need a copy of this uh, staircase i've already renamed it as a uh, team stair and click and click ok okay so what i will do now is i'm going to edit it edit then the maximum riser instead of uh, one 50 i'm going to set it to be 152 let's try that you continue to try it until you get it right and hit apply click ok now let's draw it now let's draw it stop here we'll start the next one from here that the next one from here okay we have created 24 and let's finish it for now the reason i finish it now is so that i will not give um some time it developed error if you do not give it time to calculate very well okay it's still not what i want it to be i want this to touch this in that case i will still need to to modify it so i will still delete it again and delete it so let's stay again um, edit then let's set it to 155 I click apply click ok now let's see stop here start the next one from here and 24 has been created let's finish it for now and let's go to our section and see how it is still it has not gone to that place okay let me see let me delete it again i'll go to the floor plan and select the case step then edit and let me use a 162 and see 162 maximum riser okay click apply click ok and the desired number is 23 okay then let's start our drawing let's start our drawing and the next one should start from here to here and let's finish it let's go to our section and see okay okay let's assume i create one more now you should be able to hit this 
if I create one more riser, it's going to hit that place. Okay, let me try it. Um, edit. I will edit it. And if I create one more, 24 now, it's going to hit that riser. Let's go. And this is exactly what I want. Now it has hit the, the slab. Okay. Okay. So what if I want it to be spiral? In that case, I'm going to select it, edit, and create riser. from boundary to boundary make sure it's from boundary to boundary riser from boundary to boundary make sure it touches the boundary line and let me see the number i have now I have one two three four five six seven 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. I have 23. So let me remove these three. And I have 23 now. Let's finish it and see what we have created. Okay, let me just add just one to eat to make it complete let me add one to eat okay finish it and let's go back to our okay so this is perfect this is perfect it's perfect okay so that is how you you model your staircase in revit this is how you model it let's check the riser height let's check the riser height okay this is 157 it's not bad if you are doing your working drawing you can you need to label it you need to dimension it then in that case you may have to tamper with the you may have to forge the dimension and to forge the dimension let's assume that you want to do the working drawing you want to forge this dimension because this dimension is not reading what we want it to read we want it to read exactly 150 so because of that i'm going to forge it to forge it you simply select this dimension double click on it and select replace with text and type 150 type 150 and give it a little space and add points to it and click apply click ok you can see this is 150 now and nobody will actually know that this is a point by the time it is printed no one will know so that is how you forge a uh, dimension in Revit. Okay. Alright. I hope this is going to help you a lot.